Hi and welcome to a new episode of the devlog of Ruins of Ariel. So what have I been up to lately? Um, we'll start with the Caladvius card. So we've loaded here the, the, in the sandbox the preset for the uh, Caladvius card. Let's start the game. Here we are. And here in the game we should have the Caladrius card, here it is, deal uh, fire damage, 4 damage to all bird creatures. So I deliberately added some bird creatures and of course a lot of these Caladrius cards here, and I'll drop it, and then uh, bir the, the birds uh, become on fire, actually, that's the Caladrius card. So um, in order to do that, um, let's go to the cards here, collapse that a bit. A lot of stuff going on already. Uh, we've got these cards here, and uh, at the cards family, I've added this thing called uh, target enemy type. And target enemy type, let's go and find those references. Uh, you'll see that uh, whenever we're um, using target mode target, then we uh, add to this dictionary called targets, the uh, current target, and else what we do if it's not target, then we are going and looking at the target enemy type, so either it's nothing, so then we just pick uh, uh, everything with health greater than zero, or it is an enemy type here, and then it's of course that specific enemy type we're taking. And the same stuff will probably, okay, it's the same thing here because the target enemy type is referenced twice. So this was what we're doing. So in the end, before it was so that we were targeting a current target here, only this UID stored in this variable called current target. And now we've changed that a bit so that we're having this dictionary, which we initially clear, of course. And if the target mode equals target, then we're targeting this specific one. And if it's not target, what we're going to do um, is we're going to target a specific enemy type. And depending on the target mode, then we can just, from these enemy types, we can just pick a random one. Or uh, if we pick all, then uh, we just pick every enemy. So, um, so that's what the different target types are. Target modes, sorry, target modes are. So either it's... Uh, none and it will just it's like a shield going up and then we're not targeting anything that is target mode none and uh, either it's target and we were just targeting that specific enemy or if it's not target then it can be random at which time we pick a random enemy of possibly a specific type or we pick all enemies of possibly a specific type so that's what this it's it's kind of this combination of this target mode and this target enemy type is a really flexible way of indicating to the card which enemy sh should actually be targeted. So that's uh, Caladrius. So then we've also got the impact card. And the impact card, let's check if I have a preset here in my, um, in my uh, impact card here. Let's do that. So this impact card, let's see what it does. Here we are. So deal 10 damage to all enemies and remove one random card. So it's also a two energy card. So let's drop it there. All of the enemies get damaged. We subtract two. And instead of six cards, there's only four cards because a random card was removed from my hand. So in order to do that, I've also added to the cards something called uh, remove random card, which is a number. And um, this number, let's go and find that. If this number is higher than zero, then we will uh, add, start a command called C remove random card. And the C remove random card is also something uh, which is translated into a function. And it should be somewhere here around here. See, remove random card here. Remove random from deck. Then we get, uh, we get 
pick me all the cards with current deck equals t from the table and it's different from the card we are dragging right now of course because that's not the card we're going to remove and then we pick a random one from those cards and we issue a new command called remove from deck and this remove from deck has been in there uh, for quite some time and uh, it just removes that card from deck so it's basically uh, pretty easy so the next one uh, we've implemented is the gamekeeper card so the game the gatekeeper card let's see if i've got uh, a preset here in my sandbox for the gatekeeper and there we are i've misspelled it but it doesn't matter there we are and uh, let's show the gatekeeper card here we are so gain five shield and shield is not removed at the end of the turn so the shield should not be removed at the end of the turn so let's end the turn and then we see it's not set to zero it's set to eight so in order to accomplish that I've got something called retain shield. This is a variable called retain shield. Um, and this retain, retain shield is actually uh, there. Um, what we do is if the retain shield equals zero, then we uh, set uh, the shield to delayed shield. And delayed shield is another variable which will set uh, to um, indicate in the next round what we should do with the shield so uh, the, the late shield is set whenever we have a card with uh, that says okay next turn you gain and so many shield um, so this is used for cards that uh, do something like that and for this gatekeeper card what we'll do is just set that delayed shield uh, to uh, the shield we got uh, plus the delayed shield so that's uh, actually a function and of course after that we set the delayed shield to zero and the retain shield to zero so it doesn't happen again of course so that's uh what we'll do here and then we've got a new special card called the thief card as well we've got a lot of new cards here in this uh, session Where is it here the thief card let's start that card The thief card, as we'll see, will um, take two health from the creature and add it to your own. So we've got nine health here. We'll take the two health, and now we've got eleven health. Actually, um, and this is uh, done using a special function called a health steal. Here, a health steal is in this uh, function. Uh, where we use a card, uh, use card, and then we check uh, health steal. What we do is add the health uh, from that special value here from the card. We play an effect and stuff like that. So we you steal that health effectively from that uh, from that card. So let me see here how thief is implemented. Thief, here we are, thief, and we'll see that is health steal with two. So actually, health steal means add two to your own health. Oh. Yeah, add two you to your own health. There we are, and then also cast the damage for two. So that's uh, the difference there. And, and then there's also something called night vision. A new card called Night Vision, which is really great. And Night Vision, let's see what it does. Here, if a creature casts a spell this turn, it receives damage. So let's do that. So here we see that this creature is set to cast some spell. Let's make him do that strong and it's probably going from eight to six i believe i'm not sure um see 
okay it received damage uh, again so um it receiving damage whatever it costs the spell let's do it let me can do it again so um, it didn't do it maybe that's a bug we'll have to look at that um so now what we've also got is the conjuring card A lot of cards. Conjuring card. Here we are. So deal to fire damage to a random creature. There we are. And it uses the, the, the variables. I, uh, the instance variables I already uh, showed you for random target mode. Um, so, and then there's also the Ambition card, that's the last one I'll show you. So the Ambition card draws two cards and removes from the deck. So these are all standard behaviors that were already implemented, but I've just implemented the card with some variation here. So uh, what I've also done is uh, we can make creatures wet, and electricity cards can do double damage to uh, wet creatures. Uh, I'm not going to show you here, but that's also something I've uh, implemented. So that's it for uh, this session. I hope you liked it. As always, please like, please subscribe. And see you next time.